<laughs> so guys, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I know I am. So welcome back, guys. It's been a while. I haven't made a little bit of a story time video, but yeah. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, today's video well, story isn't really something I tell. I have actually I've told my family a lot of times, but not a lot of other people because I might get in trouble for this one. Um, but yeah, let's let's get this started. So last year, er, in the, around the same time, around June, um, if you were following me on my Instagram, or you can go and see my. Uh, highlights on my Instagram. I'll leave uh, the thingy right here and the links will be in the description to my Instagram. I um, I actually went to a Hassan Raheem concert about the time, okay? And I didn't actually have permission to go per se. So my um, <coughs> Sorry, so um, so my uh, Workplace I was working where I was working at the time I was working nights there and my shift usually started around 9 till 6.30 in the morning. I didn't have a day off that day and I didn't also tell my place of work that would be coming in either. I had a friend who was like a higher up and I asked this person that, hey, I'm at a concert. I don't want to come tonight. I want to enjoy it and I want to go home. He said, call on the this absent line say that you're busy or something and i'll pick up and i'll i'll give you the all go ahead right i did it but i couldn't think of a decent enough a decent enough excuse to you know let me slide so when i picked up the phone i wait i'm missing a decent chunk of the story right now but i'll get to that as well so when i called the, him he said just call the absent line just before your shift's about to start tell, tell them this uh tell them a decent excuse just get and get up and get on with it, yeah. So I was like, uh, what can I say? What can I say? And then I thought of a good excuse. So the day of comes. So this uh, this conversation happened two days in advance, right? This didn't happen on the day of. So the day of comes around. Concert uh, uh, starts at seven, seven until like eleven ish or something. I don't really remember how long it was, but it was a fun concert. I had another co-worker come in with me to the concert because I don't know I booked it and I told some friends at work about it and most of them didn't book it. This one co-worker did, and we both went together. So I I actually forgot about the concert that day. I woke up, I got ready, and um, I went to the gym. I came back from the gym and it was nearing around five thirty six six ish, and the concert started at seven and I was roughly an hour away from the venue. The, it was in Brixton, so I was like, oh crap, I rushed, so I was in my gym clothes, sweaty, smelly gym clothes, I just grabbed a sweatshirt, like a fancy one, and chucked in my backpack, had my, uh, go -to, my go to backpack, which was my work bag, and I just ran straight to the station and headed out. I got to, I got to the venue around 6.35, 40ish, and a line was starting to form, it wasn't that busy yet. I get there and I rush in, but I was re literally out. So the line started from here all the way through here. I was here basically, somewhere about here, and my mate was somewhere in the front side. So I called her. I'm like, "Hey, are you here yet?" She says, "Yeah, I'm up front. I was here at t t uh, at six. I was like, "Okay, I'm here. I'm in the back. I'm just gonna push through and get back and get to you." She's like, "All right, cool. I'm waiting on you." I start saying, "My friends there. Some people let me go. Some didn't. Some people actually push me back." I ended up just like shoving and pushing and pushing and shoving and I got to her and also um, a lot of you have seen my early vlogs so I'll just put the thing to it right up here. Um, a friend of mine, Alize, I met her at this concert so when I got to my French, in front of her was Alize and her friend and I don't know how we became friends but we did so that's a separate story but uh, once we got, once I got there um, I started, you know, we, I, we, me and her started brainstorming ideas on how we're supposed to make sure nobody knows that I was here or that she was here or we both were even present at this concert, right? 
and we start. My sister just entered the room. Do you want to say hi? Hello. Well, there's your hi, guys. So we both were coming up with some ideas what we can say, what I could say at work, and what she could say in case somebody asked. And we were just bouncing ideas, and I just catch a glimpse from the corner of my eye of Hasanari. We just came, it like peeks out to see how long the queue is. I just scream at the top of my lungs, and like Hasanari is there. Everybody in the crowd, everybody in the like queue, sorry, just like turns it straight. The face is straight forward. And Alicia was in front of me. She turns back. She's like, "Where is he?" I'm like, "He peeked out for a second, and we just started chatting." And I don't know, like that, we became friends. I don't know why, why though. We get into the venue because we're early on, so we were able to just walk in and get straight to the front right front of the stage. We all got there, and concert starts. We have the opening act, um, and she's going on for a while now. So mid mid of her, middle of her set, right, 10, 15, 10, 20 ish. My f m friend who's the manager, oops, my friend who's the manager, yeah, basically, he gives me a ring. He's like. They're still wondering where you are. You haven't sent texts. You haven't called. You need to do something before you're marked as a wall, and you get more trouble. I was like, she. I actually have to think of something now. I hate that I have to record this in the living room because the people are coming in and going out, and I can't control these guys. Anyways, um, so I started to brainstorm ideas. What I could say, what I couldn't say, and I, I randomly thought, hey, why don't you say I'm in Birmingham for some bullshit? And that's what I did. I went through with it. I went all the way to the uh, in the back. I left the left hand side. I told my coworker, my friends that uh, well, at least acquaintances at the time, that hey, I gotta go. I need to uh, answer a phone call. I walk out, go outside, literally outside the venue, and I call work. And I'm like, hey, I can't come in. I'm at a wedding in Birmingham, and I'll be late, extremely, so I won't be able to make it tonight. My friend picks up at the, right. He he picks up the call and he's like, okay, don't worry. He hangs up, only to get another call from him, from his personal number, five minutes later saying, yeah, I told them, they said no, have him call back, send him a text, whatever you need to do, That that that's not a valid reason, he can't get off because of that. I was like, crap. So I called him again and I gave the same excuse saying that if I leave even now, I'm going to be late, I'm going to get there around 11, 11, 12-ish, they're like, yeah, we don't care, just be here, I'm like, crud. So I wasn't able to get a day off because of that. So instead of you know being sad and a bit, a bit, a bit of a moody, I was like, yeah, screw it, why not? So they, let me enjoy the concert and we'll deal with this one when I get there. So I finished the concert, um, I like a call, and I go back in to enjoy the concert. It's going on now. We're all having a good time. I'm enjoying the music. I'm recording like a crazy maniac. And my f friend, who, my coworker friend, who is that guy, calls me. He's like. Bro, everybody's getting annoyed. Where are you? I'm like, bro, I'm on my way. Just hold on. I'll tell you everything once I'm at work. Because I wasn't going to lie to him. Obviously, that's my name. We end the concert and I head back out. Um, So, obviously, my when the co worker I went with, she wanted to go home. So, I was like, alright, cool, no worries. And Alize was a new person I met. So, she wanted to actually, you know, hang out for a bit. She wanted to get to know me. So, she took me to a McDonald's. This is pre. Um, uh, pre like the whole boycott times so just just to be clear we go into a McDonald's we just sit there we didn't order anything and she introduces me to more of our friends that were at the concert we just chat and chat about and they're about to go some other place to have more fun I forgot what the place they said I on the other hand was like oh, I want to go but if I don't get to work I will get fired so I was like screw it I have to go back to work I was like no no I have to go I left them I ran to the station got in the tube as soon as I got into work it's nearing 11.30 and we have our break around 12 for an hour, right? I rush in. Now, bear in mind, I haven't eaten, I haven't done anything because in my back of my head, this this whole work thing was annoying me the entire night. So as soon as I get in, the manager sees me, she's like, why are you late? I'm like, I called ahead, I just came from Birmingham, I'm tired, I'm, I'm very sleepy, I'm sorry. Give me two minutes and go change and I'll get back to work. And she's like, fine. I, ru I ru go upstairs, I casually clock in, I change, I come back down, and I start working. Everybody's asking me, why'd you come in if you were going to be late this late? You might as well just told them, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm too far out, I can't make it now, I'm sorry. You just hung up and don't pick their calls no matter what they say, because you've called in, you've done your part. It's not it's not up to them whether they accept it or not, it's up to the management. I'm like, damn, I 
could have done that the entire time instead of having to, you know, ruin my almost perfect night for me. And I got ready. I was, I was like, yeah, it's alright. I, I was, I was a bit annoyed inside, but I was like, okay. Um, then break rolls around. We go upstairs. I find out that they did um, the play. I almost said the company name. If you know, if you know the company name, hit that like button, guys. If you, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and so I go upstairs and we, um, the, the company's doing a charity thing, so for the for night shift, uh, all the people are um, just doing some random stuff, making art and crafts, photo, um, photo shoots, uh, pieing each other, random stuff, yeah? And we were on a bicycle the entire night, like night shift, day shift, oh, everybody was doing it. I purposely did it a lot more so I wouldn't have to do much work, but yeah. So as soon as soon as I um, got to in the, the in the break room, I just see everybody's lined up, they're paying, and everybody's just throwing pies at the managers. I'm like, Shh, oh, I'm gonna do this so bad. I didn't have any cash on me, so I wasn't able to. But it was so hilarious. Um, I would put up a video, like a little glimpse of it here, but I don't want to get sued, or I don't want to get in trouble by my friends and it's a work I am in, um, not in the place I work I was in. So yeah, um, let's just uh, I'll, let's just say it was a lot of uh, this and this happening to uh, most of the managers. But afterwards, um, I went back into the locker room. That's where me and my mate we usually hide ourselves to you know enjoy our break and whatnot. So we were sitting there and he's like, "Where were you the entire time?" Because he knew I wasn't lying. He knew there was no, I wasn't in Birmingham but I had some wedding or any of that sh sh stuff. He was like, "Where were you realistically?" I was like, bro, I was at a concert. I told you I was going to a concert today. He's like, why are you yet? I was like, bro, it's not bad. I was literally, I was like, it's not bad. I was like, I'm not bad. I was like, I'm not bad. He's like, yeah, no doubt about that part. So, in all in all, all I learned from that experience is, if I do this again, I need to make sure that after I tell them that I can't come in, I turn my phone off. They don't need to be able to know whether I'm gonna make it or not. They do not need to know anything about my existence afterwards until the next night. So if you're if you have a job and you have a concert coming up and you want to avoid it, take this as advice. Fatma, do not listen to me. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, welcome back to the videos, guys.